Yo, what is good, dev guys? It's your boy Ken. Yes, sir. I'm back with another tutorial series. Man, in this series, I want to show you guys an advanced workflow that I found that, that could really take your texturing pipeline and turn it up another level. You dig what I'm saying? Let's let me show you what I mean. So I created this base material and uh, I was able to create this base material once and then inside of Unreal Engine, I'm able to add whatever color palette I want. So I could go in here and I can make as many changes as I as I see fit to this to this weapon skin. And this allows you to create as many variations for the same material inside of Unreal Engine without having to keep going back and forth to Substance Painter, changing your base colors over here, exporting out the, uh, the materials back to Unreal Engine creating a new material, then pulling that material onto the to the mesh. What we did here is we created a master material that holds all the parameters that we want to edit. And this could be extended. If you have more knowledge than me, you can extend this to do whatever you need it to do. And we created material instances based off of this master material. And we can make as many of these as we want and set them as the, the uh, weapon skin for the weapon at the current time. So if you're interested in learning something like that, man, go ahead, like, subscribe, uh, go ahead, join me in the next video. Uh, I open up Susan's Painter. I will leave a link to a, a the same file that I'm using so you can so you can follow along with me and learn the process with me. But I, I really want you guys to use your own projects that, uh, because that weapon is uh, kind of my own personal weapon that I'm using right now. But, you know, uh, I like to share knowledge, so I'll share the file with you. And uh, if you're, like I said, if you're interested, go ahead, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.